Hello to all of our friends in Vilnius. Yeah, to everyone that we know and love. And you know, uh, Michael and I, where our families are from Vilnius. So right. I'm from I, Lithuania too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're we're my moving. Mom is listening. I have to let her know. Kavna Gabernia. This is my grandma's home. So we're moving the festival to Lithuania. <laughs> I guess at some point. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Lithuania. Yeah, if if quarantine continues in New York, you can definitely move it to Lithuania. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but Shubakle, uh you've been living in New York, even though you're yeah. Lithuanian. You moved to New York ten quite years a ago. Ten, ten years. years ago. Yeah, yeah, this year marks 10 years anniversary. Yeah. So that's why it was so special to get this commission from you guys, because I thought, wow, that's kind of very significant and symbolic in a way. And, and, uh, and how's, your, how's, your, how's your time in New York? What's the difference between being a composer in Lithuania and New York? Well, you know Lithuania, you've been here yourself, so you know it's it's quite a place it's not so much stimuli that are happening so i think for my mind for my restlessness and uh, that i have new york was perfect place because you know? <laughs> in lithuania i was always like everything is so slow everything is too slow you know and but now it's uh, it, it i mean it's a beautiful country and it has a lot to offer culturally speaking too but somehow you feel restricted by being part of very, very small community and just knowing everybody. I don't know. You've written a new welcome piece. welcome you as an official New Yorker now, then. That's <laughs> now a New Yorker. Yeah, I know, 10 years, right? Yeah. <laughs> you you have to go back to Lithuania to get our attention. So <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, well, it's funny because I came to Lithuania just for one week. And then I got stuck because the flights were not not happening anymore. That's it. Right. So. so you, when we talked about writing this new piece for Robert Black, you said, oh, I, I can't imagine writing for any other instrument but the double bass, and I'm so happy. I will tell you why. <laughs> tell, tell us. Because at that moment when you wrote me, I was starting to work on my project for low range instruments. So it's tuba, bass clarinet, contrabass, uh, contrabassoon, and so on. So I was already residing in that low frequencies, you know? And then <laughs> this contrabass came, perfect, absolutely perfect fit. Couldn't have been any better. So. Well, well, tell us about the title and what, you're, what you were thinking about. Well, uh, the title is Abyssal Zone, which is one of the zones of the ocean. Scientists divide ocean into five uh, zones uh, according to depth and the level of light that reaches the, the depth. So Abyssal Zone is one second to the lowest, below is uh, Hadal Zone. So Hadal Zone is, that's my big piece that I will be writing, and Abyssal Zone is pre-dark pre, pre dark zone. And the darkness, of, uh, of the ocean, I mean, when you go deep, it gets really dark, right? No light reaches. It sort of resonates with the times that we are now in because it's dark, right? But we still have some kind of a memory of light or wish for it, <laughs> at least. So that was the piece, yeah. What's the relationship between this little piece and the larger piece between well, those two zones? This little piece will go into the large piece, but in a different setting. I mean, with electronics and with a little bit, maybe either shortening or lengthening, or something like that. Yeah. So the, the large piece will be how, how, how long? How long will no, it? I mean, large is just within an hour, maybe yeah. 50 minutes or maybe an hour. Yeah. That qualifies as large. That's pretty large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got to Guggenheim this year, so my project for Guggenheim was that piece. So that's why. Great. Congratulations. Right. Um, what was the process like working with Robert? Were you guys able to rehearse together um, through the wires? And, and um, how did that work? Well, Robert was extremely helpful from the very beginning. He said, ask whatever you want. So before I even started composing, I already had in mind some ideas that I might want to use. 
So I sent him some samples of ideas, not even, you know, not even a piece. And then uh, he immediately sent me a recording of those samples. And then I thought, perfect, that works or that doesn't work. And then based on those, um, on those um, ideas, I, I composed the piece. So he was extremely helpful. And then afterwards, we, of course, were rehearsing on Zoom, which wasn't working too well because of my slow internet connection. So we decided that we will be going back and forth. He was sending me recording and then I would be, you know, commenting on that. So that worked out pretty well. Yes, well I'm really looking forward to when you can be in the room with Robert. He is such a gift, you know, such an amazing performer. And it has, yeah, I watched him. And when you can hear him, this will be beautiful uh, as we have this format set up, but um, it's going to be really fun when you meet in person and um, we look forward to, to having you hear him with that huge, wonderful bass live. Um, but thrilled to, to have your new piece on this program. It's really fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I also wanted to add, because I, I forgot to add, so one might expect that the piece for contrabass is a very low and very like resides just in the low register, but it's not so, because there's a substantial middle section in that piece that is this haunting melody of harmonics that lasts for a very long time. So it is this, what I talked about, this faint memory of, of the life that we remembered or the light itself. But at the same time, there's a drone that is sustained kind of below that melody. So it's kind of juxtaposed darkness and light. They are all together. And that brings a certain sadness to it. And also, you know, also hope. <laughs> Shabakla, thank you so much. Um, we're going uh, now to Hartford, Connecticut to hear Robert Black play Shabakla's uh, new work, Abyssal Zone. <laughs> 